what to do? Judicial progressiveness? You know, you know if we challenge these things, for example, uh, the UITM issue, for example, or if a, a government civil servant feels like he's being discriminated against and he challenges it under Article 136, can we get the judiciary, perhaps, right, to make the right kinds of decisions? I don't know. Frankly, I think the judiciary needs many, many years before I can feel any sort of confidence. Uh, in, in, in not just that, in, not just in the independence, but intelligence. <laughs> you know, so you know, it's. I'm not quite sure whether we can depend on judicial activism, right? Um, change the constitution, change it completely. Oh, I, 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 I think pragmatically, pragmatic, and I'm sorry for being pragmatic, <laughs> but there are some battles which may not best be fought at the moment. However, having said that, even if we change the constitution, if we do not have a paradigm shift in our thinking, it's not going to make much use. There has to be a paradigm shift in the way Malaysians think about ourselves. And that's the key, that's the problem. Now, I believe, right, I, 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 I still have a vague belief in the political system, right? And I believe that right now, we don't really have any strong leadership to say no to racism. I mean, think about it. Which American president was the one who started the ball rolling with regards to racial equality? It wasn't, you know, it's, it's, it's what's his name? The guy after Roosevelt. Uh, come on, any historians here? Harry Truman. Truman. It was Truman. He was Roosevelt's deputy, right? Yeah. And then, Truman was from the South. This was what? The 40s, the 50s? Yeah, this was the time when lynching happened. And you got a man who came from the Deep South, who grew up with the idea of slaves and niggers and all the rest of it, and he was the one who said, look, we've got to make the necessary legislative changes to make this a thing of the past. That means leadership can count. Leadership can count. Yes, we can be cynical about our leadership, but leadership can count. So for me, I'm going to ask my, whoever's standing uh, for, for, for parliament in, in, in BJ South, are we all equal? Are we all equal? And if the butter cannot look me in the eye and say, yes, we are all equal, I'm going to say, you go to hell. I'm not going to vote for you. Right? So, we, we, we've got to push it. We've got to make this an agenda. And hopefully, in that way, um, um, something uh, can come up. But it's, 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 it's dangerous to, to, to believe only in politicians. Yeah? At the end of the day, it really is about us. We have to understand what, it's, what the issues are, we have to understand is, uh, what the law is, and what the law should be, what the aspirations of the law was, and should be, and we've got to push. We have got to push, consistently and constantly, because no one else is going to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Ali, for that uh, down to earth, very uh, call to us uh, not to uh, put too much weight on our politicians. Um, I think what you said makes a lot of sense. I think we got to get Islamic scholars come out and uh, tell us what they think about institutionalized racism in this Malaysia and offer their points of view. We need your Malay intelligentsia and uh, Malay academics to hold forums like this in the universities. Maybe the uh, Academic Staff Association of the University of Malaya may want to uh, <laughs> tell the cat on this and lead the way for the other universities. Now, uh, I'm going to open the floor to comments and questions and uh, just a couple of quick reminders. Number one, Please uh, try to uh, base your presentation on facts and substance. Number two, uh, be respectful. And uh, number three, uh, don't overgeneralize or make long speeches, okay? I'm going to give you uh, two, three minutes or so. Uh, direct your comments uh, and questions at any one of the three uh, panelists. Uh, this was the first hand up.